All right. You want to start, bro, while I eat my fruit snacks? Of course, bro. I might, I might have to take one, too, my boy. Do you want to tell the people how many fruit snacks you ate before this? I ate one. Nigga lying. I brought, like, what, seven of these shits over here? Bro, I ain't a lot of fruit snacks brought weakness, brother. <laughs> these are the best ones, the Black Forest ones? Hey, these shits is big. No, okay. These are the the Santa ones. The, but the, you ever... The moat, the... What are they call it? Mots? Yeah. You never had the ones in the in the vending machines? The hard ass one? No, not the the hard bro. It's like when you go like, I forgot. It's like it has like the shit inside, like gushers inside. No, no gushers. Do that count as fruit snacks? Mm. Hey, that shit busted. Does that count as candy? Fruit snack not candy. Am I? I don't count it as candy. I count it as a snack. Hell no. Huh? I don't even eat snacks. So I don't know. Like chips and shit, snacks. This is a snack. Anyway, so I'm <laughs> this is Listen, a, this is candy, bro. It's not. A snack is like chips and shit. Anyways, though, what's going on, people? It's your boy, the one and only, the chosen one, the only one. I'm back here on another episode of No Regulars Podcast. And to my left, I have the host, DW, aka Ifatunde. You know what I'm saying? The Oracle, the ones who gets it done, the ones who gets it started, man. We here, man. We ready to go, man. Shout out to Jay behind the camera doing what she do, doing what she do best, man. You know, about to turn this motherfucker up. Let's go, man. You know, but we're both hosts. Shout out to my host on the left, man. My man, DW. Shout out to the host on the right, man. <laughs> the one and only. Why D3 him here? Yes, sir. Welcome back to another episode. What the fuck? I thought you dropped that shit. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode number 68. And like you said. Gonna, I think I could do. uh What? The, the slow jam radio, the late night radio. You got the voice for it. Yeah. I think <laughs> I, I could do that shit, bro. Not you. Like, oh, the beautiful ladies. Nah, do, nah, nah, do, nah. do like a real quick, real quick. Like, hey, what's going on tonight on WFM radio? <laughs> <laughs> WFM radio bringing to you the slow jams. <laughs> Hey, bro. No, that was hard. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that Bring was to hard. The slow jam. <laughs> Do this? Is that shit still like a I thing? I have no idea. I haven't heard it in like years. To be honest, who the fuck listens to the radio? People of like niggas that even. That's a good question. I don't think. No, I, especially I don't, with the new like uh, cars and shit like that. That's what I'm saying. And I ain't gonna lie. I only listen to the radio when like I don't feel like turning on the Bluetooth. Yeah. Like, and right away, and I'm just getting in the car real quick, then the radio was on. Nah, I And can't. I don't even switch the channels. Whatever's on, it's on. The only reason why I don't listen to the radio is because of the commercials. Mm, the commercials be... It's not even that. They play the same 10 songs the whole time. I can still do that, but, like, they be saying, uh, like, what, two hours of no commercial interruption? They still be having they still interruptions. Be interrupting, bro. And they the commercials be, like, like, like what, 30 minutes? That's why I'm, I'm kind of confused how they still a thing, how the radio still a thing. Oh. Everything's about streaming. But it's probably like I want a bumper song. I'm about to go on YouTube. I think it's. I think the radio ties in with like the like uh like Charlemagne. They got all that shit. Like that's like their thing. So I guess even so, I think niggas tune in more to the video that Charlemagne the God oh, put out. The, like they the Breakfast Club videos on YouTube rather than actually being up in the morning and listening to the Breakfast Club. I feel like they only listen to that like on the way to work. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. No, I don't think nobody's really sitting down. Listening to the Breakfast Club, but we are watching those Clips. episodes on YouTube. Yeah, like, yeah. I didn't even know there was like recording, like like video like, recording yeah. until like maybe recently. Like DJ Envy is an actual DJ. Like I never didn't knew know that. that. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. Like didn't until know that, I think yeah. when that Kodak clip came out, that's when I realized they had the freaking uh, when he had the little mask on and he was like giggling and shit. Also, before that, you never seen it? Nah, I never seen it. No, nah, I, I watched hella their interviews. Like, really? Hella. Especially even back in the day, I was watching that shit. Nah, like, I fucking, I watched every Doctor Umar interview. I gotta watch another one. He just dropped one like last week. Uh, a boogie just had an interview. So does Doctor Umar just go around the world just preaching, like black culture? Uh, yes. Respect Pan that Africa man, bro. The Prince of Pan Africa. <laughs> Shout out to my guy, man. That's my guy right there. But like, like I said, welcome back to another episode. Episode number sixty-eight, the last episode of twenty twenty-two, technically. Oh. I'm honored to be here, you know what I'm saying? You got to start it with the chosen one. You got to end it with the chosen one, too, you know what I'm saying? No, we started with Ja'Kai. No, we didn't. We got to start it with the chosen one. You got to end it with the chosen one, too, you know what I'm saying? Hey, bro. It only makes sense, man. If y'all knew, if y'all knew, follow us on all social. Follow us on TikTok at No Regulars. Uh, I think we are I think we just hit 2,000, 211,000. 
There's a video that's blowing up right now. I ain't gonna lie. That's tough. So we'll see afterwards. Uh, follow us on Instagram at noregulars.podcast. I think we're we're almost at a thousand on that shit, bro. Mm, that's tough. That's tough. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We're almost at three thousand subs. Follow all the pod. Follow us on all podcasts and platforms at No Records Podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts, and all that good stuff. People, and happy holidays from you know the members. You know what I'm saying, and have a blessed Christmas. Y'all have a happy New Year. This man. is the I think this is the Christmas episode too. It's Christmas episode. Okay, but no, 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 no. Because Christmas is next Saturday. Oh, so yeah, it would be. Yeah, I mean, we could do some holiday joint like after, like you know, post holiday. What like a the because um, the episode would drop the day after Christmas. I might I might do it on Christmas because I did oh, I, I dropped a yeah, exactly. video on Thanksgiving one time. So we'll see we'll see how it goes. I think it was, it was my episode. Dang, this nigga. Go. Hey, bro, this nigga got lucky. Hey, you <laughs> gotta bring the celeb in the building when you're doing these special episodes. This nigga is sick. You know what I'm saying special editions. You gotta bring him. But yeah, enjoy your holidays, enjoy your Christmas. I hope y'all got everything. This nigga UJ about to go to Alabama, bro. So if you're from Alabama, Alabama, go hit this nigga up, bro. But you know, I've been hearing. I was talking to one of my uncles. He's like, "Yo, the people of Alabama's, they like, they all speak to you. They all say hello. You walk past them, like they don't keep their head down. Oh, they all nice. Yeah, like up here, like niggas is. I know. I was walking just, down. I'm on my tools. You gotta walk with your chest out. That, so niggas don't fuck with you. Like, that you is. Got, that's a fact. Like, we, like you because gotta I walk think like you got somewhere to go. It's southern hospitality. Yeah. Like that's really a thing. Mm. But like, like I was gonna talk. So, so you think like up here, it's really just like. Why do you think it's like that? Like, why do you think we're so mean? I don't. I really don't know. I just think it's the nat- like the nature of the people. I don't even know how that that kind of that energy even started where it originates from, but. I feel like it's, it's just, I feel like, like you're rich. Even the women aggressive too. Like it's not just the guys. Like <laughs> women is on time and too. Like, I know. But I think it's just like, I feel like back in the days, there was, since there's a lot of people here, then there's a lot of uh, people that could like take advantage of so many people mm-hmm. here. So like growing up, you got to learn like you can't trust everybody. You got to be to yourself too, well, really. Maybe low key it probably even come, I don't know. It could, and this might be a stretch, but it could come from like slavery time. Right, because a lot of them people in the South were. Yeah. Oh wait, were, hold on. let me were, fix this uh, for you real quick. Yeah. yeah. Fire upon that, bro. Don't put no mic in his face. A lot better, brother. All right, go ahead. It could it could come from like uh, slavery time, where a lot of those people were, or the ancestors mm-hmm. were told that they have to speak a certain way to people. Mm-hmm. Wait, I mean, down you know, in the South. Down in the South. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. A lot of people in the North was speak any kind of way they want to talk. Yeah. So maybe that just. And that's Game, also uh, true because a didn't a lot of the slaves like afterwards they moved to the north. Yeah. So maybe when the they north. moved to the north, they're looking. They're not like they kind of got like some beef towards everybody. So they nah. They, I think they just adopted what was already going on. You think nah, so? I don't know because like really, I said I really don't know how like especially like Jersey, Philly. Like New York, yeah, everybody's aggressive. Like really aggressive. Like everybody, like, bro. You really gotta walk around just like minding your business, but you can't walk around like you, like like you not yeah, from here. Like, like, it's really weird. <laughs> like, you, you, really gotta, get... you gotta move properly. Like you gotta walk. Like you got somewhere to go. Like even just now, I was at G Crib and EO. Like I seen, I'm looking at the dude walking. But I'm like, he's like he's walk. He's a big dude just walking like this. <laughs> but I'm like, all right, he's walking, but he looked like a kid though. Like oh, a big okay. kid. Yeah. But he's walking that way because he don't want nobody to fuck with him. Like, I I peeped that right away. Yeah. Like, he's just like, right, let me just get where I'm going. Let me look scary. Like, so you me. really can't walk up to anybody around here and just, like, have, like, spark a conversation. conversation. Hey, and when they, look- even when niggas do that, I'm like, yo, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, watch out. Like, man. somebody be trying to be nice. Yeah. You know, nah, it's That's like. shit weird. Like, even, like, somebody trying to hold the door for you is like, oh, thank you. Like, I appreciate that. Like, it's. Cause that don't don't happen. Nah, I don't. Like I don't even let niggas merge lanes. That's true. <laughs> Yo, That's so true. I do not let niggas merge lanes. I'm Cause trying, nobody bro. let me merge lanes. So nobody. And even or maybe it could just be the the sector of Jersey. Cause now that I live in South Jersey, dumb niggas is nice as fuck. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I think it's just like my neighbors actually be talking to each other. Really? I get in my car and go. Dumb niggas be out there. Hey, how you doing? But over here, no, my neighbors I, do not talk to each other. I know, yeah. They keep it pushing. Like, niggas don't... I've like never even seen niggas is, bring groceries in their house. <laughs> Wait. Like, they don't... Like, like my neighbors down here, they don't say nothing to nobody. Really? Yeah. I mean, like, 
that's what I'm saying. I feel like it's, there's just so many people here. You just don't want to just like you mm. just want to be to yourself with all these people. But if you're down south, there's like more spaced out, mm. so you don't really see people too much. You'd be like, oh hello, how you doing? But we see people every I day. Got, I got a question for you though, to bounce off this, right? Why? Pause. So now, <laughs> <laughs> so how disrespectful is it if somebody reaches their hand their hand out to shake your hand and you don't do it? On a scale of one to ten, like how how disrespectful is that to you? If I do it or if they like, do it to if me? If you like, hey, what's going on? And they, and they don't shake your hand. Oh, that's like a, that's like a, I want to say a 10 because it's like spitting is like 10. I'll say that's like an eight. It's like an eight. That's pretty bad. All right. So how about when somebody, you reach out to shake your hand and they give you one of these? Oh, that's not disrespectful. Especially during COVID times. It's not disrespectful. So you like, yo, my boy, what's good? And I hit him with this. And they're like, yo. That's not disrespectful. Like that. So what if like, but all right. So is it the energy behind it? Or is it like, yo, my boy, and you're happy to see you and like. Okay. The, it, like, so, like, you feel me? It what could be it? the energy behind it because, mm. like, especially if somebody coming coming at you, like, hot, and mm. then you just hit on one of these, he's going to be like, yo, what the fuck? What the fuck going on? Yeah. But at the same time, it's just, like, some people don't, like, at that moment, some niggas don't want to be, like, bothered like that. Mm. So, you can tell, like, I, like if that was me doing that to somebody and he did that, I'm like, all right, then I can't really, like, talk to this nigga. I'm just going to dap him up and, de- and uh, leave mm. out of here. So, now, do different daps mean different things? <laughs> Um, Cause that, niggas is very, very, very important, and yeah. niggas don't understand how important that is. We sit here laughing, <laughs> like that's important. Like it's different daps. Like do different daps mean different things? Yeah. Or, all right. Like, so all right. So one of these is just like like you know a quick one. Look, quick mm-hmm. pound we out. Um, the same thing as this though. Does I, it also does it solidify friendships or like does that or no? Not uh. Or just do handshakes solidify friendships? Yes. Okay. Because I don't just dap up random niggas. I like I just that's why I'm saying random niggas. You hit them with a fist pound. Say it's like a, like a, not that's even a bump? random, not not a bump. It's just like a probably somebody you really don't talk to a lot, but you see them often. You be like yo, what's good, bro? Like type shit. But oh, that's true. Like you're walking, they do one of these. Yeah, you're walking, you do one of these. Mm-hmm. So, and then and then you know when you haven't seen a nigga in a minute, the freaking the big hug and you like tap mm-hmm. two times on the back type shit. Niggas know that oh, one. Oh, okay, okay. Niggas know that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. So that's like what we never see. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> that one, okay. That's something like, so, okay. Yeah. So which which daps mean what? And then. Uh, because you got the one, right, where it's like this. Like, that's, <laughs> a, that's, a whole, that's a whole different other one. That one like, is like a. That. That one's like a my nigga type of dab. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, like that's like a my nigga type of dab. When you hit him with the. Like and the and the pause then and the, the pause call? like yo you know what I'm saying <laughs> even in the mystic yeah, yeah, that's like when you that's like when you like when you uh, was hanging out with the bros mm-hmm. and then you about to leave and that's how you dab everybody up but it, and like, then you could also bring it in yeah with yeah the, with the hug you know what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> with the hug like different variations of it because and also you can't do that with everybody you can't like you can't see a, a random person in the street or like say. You pulling up on your bro and he with somebody that you don't know. Yeah. You ain't about to do the... the hug. Yeah, yeah, because that's awkward. Nigga you don't know. That's yeah. awkward. That's awkward. That's awkward. Like, you might be like, niggas will do this. Right? I'll be doing all of that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> niggas do, do that. Do, I do be doing do, 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 do that. You I do be doing that. That's like a... Nah, that... What is that one? That's like a middle ground. That's, a, <laughs> that's like a middle ground. I'm not even going to lie. But you you do that to like a random dude? Yo. Yeah, I'll do that to a random dude. Oh, no. no if, you, if you're a friend of a friend. Let me think. Nah, like, I, I, I still I hit him with the fist. Nah, so <laughs> so I pulled up. I'm dapping. I'm dapping all my bros up, and I don't know the nigga there, but I'm giving mad love to the bros. I'm already in a love mood. Like all oh, the guys. Here, <laughs> oh, nigga, okay, so okay. I'm a, that that that's me? okay. That one that depends on how I'm feeling though. Mm. Because all right, so say I I also have daps for different people. Like okay. I talk to. Like like what do you mean? Like say, like um, oh, let me think. Like uh, so, save from uh, the dudes I have at work. Uh, one of my boys, his name's uh, his name Jawan. He plays soccer. Mm-hmm. I I dap him up. Sometimes I dap him up like this, mm-hmm. but sometimes I dap him up and hit him with the the shoulder one. Mm-hmm. But it just I don't know. It's always just him though. That's all I remember. Mm-hmm. And then my boy Alex would do the same thing. Dap him up with the thing. But if I was y'all, I see y'all more than them. Mm-hmm. So like we'll just do like you know the like little all, calm. yeah we all have no nah, the same thing. We all got our handshakes. Yeah, we all got our yeah. handshakes too. Yeah. So. So it's it really right, varies so on the person. If somebody too. does this, right? Put your hand out. Is that disrespect? That's weird. 
I'm, I'm thinking you're a weirdo. I'm not gonna lie. That just felt like you put your hand out and they like that. Like a quick, like a, like a quick, like yeah. I think you like a, a freak, like a weirdo, like like, Word? like no, I've I've seen it done. Like they like they don't want to shake your hand, so they're like like a normal dude. Yeah, they don't want to shake your hand, so they like like oh, like a, like a like when you like you playing basketball, like a, yeah, like nah, no, not even. It's like a nah. I've never seen that before. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> like even so, right? That's and it's crazy how what because handshakes mean something. Yeah. Right. So. There's handshakes that I don't know if every country in Africa do it, but I know a lot of West African countries do it. And I think Philly does it now, too. What? Where it's like, if I see you, right, I'll see your hand, and I'll snap Oh, the hand snap like thing? That, okay. Right? I remember Where it's like, used to do that. So, say I, I meet, like, an older African. Yeah. I know he's a cool older African guy. If when he shakes my hand, right, because yeah. how it goes, right? He goes... <laughs> and oh, and you have to and do that. Okay, 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 okay. If he does that, I know he's a cool older dude. But what if he's not? If he don't, I know he's lame. <laughs> which is which is crazy. But I'm like, all right, he's kind of yo. Lame dude. That's funny as hell. Like my dad, all my uncles, not all my uncles, some of them. Like when I met like somebody who didn't do it, I was like oh, who didn't do the snap? Oh, they got like, suspicious. He's a loser. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, what's up, this guy, man? Hey, people, this is your little daily lessons on dapping well, niggas up, bro. Up, bro. You if y'all don't know. do it, yeah, that's this. If you need help, this is how you do it, bro. But everybody, you don't greet with the same that. Yeah, that's true. You niggas will look at you crazy, like yeah. you go and you give me a hug, bro. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, that's true. But is it just the hug though? It got to be just the hug. The hug and the fist pound. You can't go too high, mm. too low. I feel like the middle ground you could do with a lot of people. All right, so the hug. Even sometimes I feel a little. If I'm going in, right, we got to be a mutual thing. Yeah. If I'm going in for the hug, and then you and go, you give me one of the. I'm like, nigga, what's up there? Like, <laughs> know, that right. should be awkward. That's I'm why I don't go. Love, that's why I don't go for the hugs a lot, bro. Unless I'm I haven't so seen. That's why you only go for the hugs when you haven't seen somebody in a minute. Because that's like, even like the say you. You give one of these, right? The the tap, and then you put your shoulder, and then they do the hug. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it's di- different variations, but it's still showing love. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the only ones that's kind of disrespectful is if you see I'm definitely trying to dap you up, and you like, like you're blatant on doing this. I feel away. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I don't give because I don't. I don't give a fuck what's on you. Oh, my hand wet. Nah, it's love, bro. <laughs> I don't care if your hand wet. Hey, fucking yo, bro. That's so funny, bro. Um. What I got? What uh, what I, what topics do I got for today, bro? Oh, I was gonna talk about the the gunner stuff, bro. Did you did we uh you caught um, up on all the 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 case and shit like that? I'm not really paying attention to it, but I am. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, if half I, if and I half. see it on social media, like I don't really, I don't pay attention to these niggas' business, bro. It ain't it ain't my business. That's too a, much, you know what I'm saying. All I heard was that the judge asked Gunna a question was. Is YSL a gang more than a label? And he said yes. And then he was able. Now he's free. And people are saying he's snitching because of that. I mean, me personally, I feel like I don't think he would say nothing or do nothing without the confirmation of Young Thug. You think? Like, like I think he talked to Thug before he said or did anything. They in I the same jail? Did. Yeah, they all. Oh, okay. Jail. So yeah. and either way, nigga can send the kite, and then niggas will know what he's talking about. Yeah, yeah. Or tell one of the guards, "Yo, I'll give you two thousand if you tell Thug this and." Get back to me what he said. So you think it's all like that's what I'm saying. I think they all like planned this out. Yeah, I, I think it's planned out. So or I feel their like lawyers is talking to the other lawyer. Like, yeah, I yeah, think, yeah. I think I think they know, and I think social media is taking it out of proportion, like they always do. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. You, you just never know. Like I said, you got to be in a situation to really know what's what's going on. So I don't really speak on it or pay too much attention to it. Yeah, because social media will take it left and it'll go all the way, all left. The way left. Like it's like, like all the way I mean. It's not like he said any names. He just he just answered the question. Like mm-hmm. if he would have said no, like what would have happened? I mean, he probably would have just stayed in jail. But he still pleaded guilty to all this shit. They said uh, slime life shorty too. He did the same thing. He's free now. Yeah. So, so they trying to say he snitched too. So I, I don't know, bro. Maybe there's all some other shit. But but I got a question, right? Mm-hmm. So which one would you think would be a better documentary if somebody would like make one? A documentary on OTF, this Rico case right now with Gunna and uh. The YSL Rico case, Brittany Griner or Megan Tory, if they would make a documentary. Megan Tory's out. That's so ass. I'm not gonna lie. I would not want to watch that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I would not want to watch that Tory's shit. Megan Tory's out. Uh, the Brittany Griner shit might be. Lit. That shit might be lit. That shit I'm not gonna lie. Um, that would be fire. Brittany yeah, Griner. That bro. might. That might be lit because. Or that. They or said she was in the trenches. They said her hair was freezing. They said they was treating her terribly. She That's had what to work. I'm she had to do this. They was calling her a man. Like they was. So I'm like, hmm. 
it, and they could exaggerate it a little bit too. Exactly. In the movie, so they could make it even worse. They got somebody punching on her. Like they could, they made it make it pretty good. But, I was saying that with OTF. I felt so, like OTF was pretty interesting. Like with Lil Durk and all like his upbringing and all that stuff. All right, so that, I feel like there's so many YouTube documentaries. Oh, like that? Shit. Like them fake little YouTube shits that I already know what the fuck is going on over yeah, there. Yeah, 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 I Maybe get you. All them little white niggas from the UK. <laughs> I don't know how, but they know exactly who shot who, when they shot them. I don't know how. They do a, like, what, the New York stuff, bro? That should they, be mad I'm quick. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? They starting, to, they starting to do that shit on Jersey. Stop. Stop now. Stop doing the weird shit. They trying to bring the jersey? Yeah, they've been doing like different uh, gangs and shit that's in Newark. Please, please, <laughs> please leave. Please leave, bro. Don't want. Please leave, yeah. bro. Uh-uh. Freaking. And then, and then I was seeing some shit. You, did, did R. Kelly really come out with the album? All right, is, so or is that a according, meme? According to Al R. Kelly's camp, he ain't drop it. Okay. Somebody leaked it. But, but that was that nigga on the track. That was him on the track? That was really him on the him track. Him saying that? Yeah, that was really him on the track. I thought that was like a that meme. That nigga's weird. That's crazy. And his, uh, I'm listening to him, what he was, I didn't really listen to the tape. I just, the shit that uh, the Shade Room posted or whatever, one of them shits posted. Um, that's what I listened to. And mm-hmm. he was saying, he's trying to he's trying to fight that he is not a, he likes younger women. But it's like, in this nigga brain, he don't get that a 16-year-old is, is a, not a woman. That's not a it's woman. A child. That is a child. <laughs> Yo, you can't do that. Right, so. <laughs> like, in this country, you can't do that You cannot shit, do that. So, I, I, I just don't get it, bro. I thought that was a joke. Nah, that, that he really dropped, like, he really. Like, he really music. thought that was going to help him? I don't know what he was planning <laughs> to do with that, with those songs. I, I don't, really know. don't know. Was it for him? Like, and they was, they was ass. It was really bad. Yeah, so, I'm like, damn, Kaz, you fell off. And you He's doing bad. Damn. No more free R. Kelly, bro. No, nah, it was never free R. Kelly, bro. Dang. <laughs> I ain't even going to talk. I ain't going to talk. I ain't going to talk about it. Gonna... All right. So I got another question for you. Mm. So you have to survive in the ring for five minutes. If you survive, you get $300 million. Now we back. Talk to me, bro. So That's what I'm here for. The first one. So it's Brock Lesnar, Prime Mike Tyson, John Jones, or Bruce Lee in his prime. And you said I got a... Yeah, yeah, five minutes. You have to. You can't five. get knocked out. You can't. What get, kind of fight is this? So whatever. So we'll so say we'll we'll give it. We'll say UFC because that's where that's more where you could do a lot. So Mike Tyson in UFC fight too. Yeah. So you can you can wrestle him if you really wanted to. Nah, Mike Mike by my he like two fifty. Yeah, he's big. Well, he two fifty solid. Though. Of muscle, and <laughs> yeah. he's like my height. He two fifty. Damn! Solid, imagine bro. my height two fifty. Nah, that's, that's that's scary. Oh shit. Um. You can't oh, get submission. Oh. You can't get tapped out. You can't get uh, knocked out. You just got to survive five minutes, and they going cra- like they going hard too. And how how much I'm getting? Do they do they know about the the bread? They don't know about the bread, but they want to win though. I could I could talk to them. Hey, <laughs> now I give I give a little bit of. They don't know about the bread, but they going hard like they want to win. I'm a, if I'm a, I ain't gonna lie, bro. If I'm gonna take anybody, it's going Bruce Lee. I'm gonna have to fight Bruce Lee because I'm Cause not he's little. Because he's little, bro. I think I, you'll take a Bruce Lee punch before you take a Mike Tyson punch. Uh, but like he might be little, but he still might have some like that little inner strength and shit. Nah, bro. for sure, I believe it. But the the inner strength of Mike Tyson is not fucking with not like, even no Brock Lesnar. I can run away from Brock Lesnar. I don't think I. I don't want to fuck with Brock. Brock is a, <laughs> Brock is a former champion in the UFC. I know. I know. I'll be forgetting. I'll be former forgetting. Former heavyweight champion. Like Brock beat one of the best best fighters to become champion. Like. <sighs> Bro, I don't want. I don't want to fuck with bro. If I, I if Brock Lesnar ever like say I'm in the street, me and Brock get into it, I'm not fighting him. <laughs> that nigga got no neck. He's getting boomed. Like I don't want to fight. Him. <laughs> I don't want. I might like he might have to get. He might have to get poked. Like I want to be. cannot fight, bro. So you gonna do Bruce Lee? And I, I rumble for real, but I'm not. I'm not playing with him. But I don't even think I could do Bruce Lee because we Bruce like Lee. he. He almost. He like what five six five seven. I'm like a couple inches taller, but like we like the same weight. Like you, at least you could like overpower him a little bit. If it's what I'm gonna do, bro, I'm gonna take Bruce Lee. I'm gonna grab him and I'm gonna fall on that nigga. And we, <laughs> I'm gonna grab him and I'm gonna fall on him. You and Mark then, Henry? And I'm gonna Mark fuck? Henry that nigga. And what let's the, see if that little ass nigga get up. What the hell? <laughs> hey, bro, I don't want. Hey, I'm not. We're not gonna stand and bang. I know I can't stand and bang him. I might be able to get because I really rumble, so I know I could get a few in. I think I could get a few in, but. Um, Let's just hope he don't freaking like. Uh, but I feel like if I if I'm sitting there toe to toe with him, yeah, and I'm joking, not joking around, but I tag him, fuck around, and actually tag him, yeah, he's gonna try to beat my ass. So what I'm gonna do is, 
go for the takedown. Even if I don't get it, try to get a little bear hug and and just like just fall. Just fall. <laughs> I'm at least a hundred plus pounds bigger than that nigga. I don't, but just, grab him and fall, bro. What if he like tag, counters your shit, bro? How the fuck going? How you counter a uh, a big ass nigga on you? <laughs> <laughs> no, like before, like you try to grab him, he does like some crazy ass kind of like that. Sure. Uh, that nigga gotta be quick. He does. He that'd be very quick. But I think I'm so. Gonna... So we could play a uh, uh, me and him gonna be cat and mouse with me trying to grab him. Shit. Cool with me. Fuck it. I got five minutes. Cool with me, cat and mouse. He might start he climbing throw, on the motherfucking. He throw gate. a punch. I'm trying to grab it. <laughs> he do throw a kick. I'm definitely trying to grab it. He gonna throw a punch and then roundhouse kick that shit. I ain't never seen a, a count like that. I got five. And how much? You say how much bread I'm getting? Three hundred million dollars. Three hundred million. Nigga, I don't give a fuck, bro. Let's do it, bro. Three hundred million. Let's do it, bro. I'll all take right, it, bro. bro. All right, bro. We'll leave, bro. All right. So then, so since we talking about all right, so with all that, right? Mm-hmm. So now, it's a gun to your head. Somebody's giving you twenty four hours to eat one hundred burgers. And we're not talking about White Castle burgers or sliders. We're talking about minimum size, like a McDonald's cheeseburger. Will you be able to do it? 24 hours to eat 100 burgers. 100 burgers. So I'm not going to lie to you. In one hour, I could eat about about 10. About 10? About 10 burgers. <laughs> but think about it. You eat 10 burgers. Now you slump. <laughs> one, and in one hour, I could eat 10 burgers for sure. So you but need... Ten. Every every time I eat burgers, like if I go and make myself a burger, I'm eating four. <laughs> I eat four burgers. I'm dead ass. I eat four burgers every time I eat burgers. Four every burgers. Time you, every time we on a game, you hear me like I'm about to make a burger or some shit. Four burgers. How many? Wait, how big are the burgers? Like it's bubble burgers, nigga. <laughs> I'm eating four, so I think I'd be and for that hour. I think you expensive. Bro. Yeah, that, those are expensive yeah, those ass expensive burgers, burgers. Oh, bro. Those are expensive burgers, bro. But uh, I think I don't think I could do it. A hundred burgers is a lot. Cause I feel like after you eat, like I know burger, I could touch thirty though. You could touch thirty. Thirty burgers. Oh, for yeah. you, I think I'm gonna try. I'm. A, I think I would try, but I, I think you're gonna end up vomiting. A hundred burgers is is crazy. I know, but you're I gonna s- vomit it out. I seen niggas. I mean, they, you know, they got the competitive eaters that do shit like Impossible. that. Impossible. You got to show me them, them niggas eating a 100 bubble burgers. I, I could show you after this. This <laughs> bad. There's, there's a little Asian dude that could, that ate freaking 50 Big Macs in like 10 minutes. He's like 10 he, minutes is crazy. But he looks like me. Like, he's not fat. See, 10 minutes is crazy. I could do Big Macs. I could do maybe. Bro. I could do seven. Seven? Yeah, I could do seven. <laughs> like, you go like, like sloppy eat that shit? No, nigga, I'm going to take I'm going to eat. I'm going to enjoy it. If I go to an eating contest, right? Yeah. Because they probably going to let me in because I'm a big nigga. Right? Wow. <laughs> a right? lot of them are are skinny, though. But look, if I go to an eating contest, yeah. I'm going to eat. I'm going to enjoy myself. Oh, you just going to... I'm going to sit there. Bev. <laughs> if I went home, wait, I don't give a fuck. I just got me a free meal. I'm all right. You know what I'm <laughs> that's kind of right, smart, bro. bro. I got I'm That's kind of right. smart. I just got me a free meal. Them hot dog eating contests, bro. That's All a right, that's me. hella pause, bro. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and, that, and then and they, I remember one year there was like the Gleazy Gobbler. <laughs> like, I'm like, tweaking, bro. I know them niggas, niggas be celebrating slumped. with a mouth full of hot dogs. <laughs> yeah. I know them niggas be slumped, bro. bro. Why, why do we let society stop us from eating hot dogs, bro? Why do we let and them ru- stop ruin hot dogs? They ain't I ruining just start, for me. I just start eating hot dogs again. I'll eat my Frank like last of year. anybody, but I don't like care. Tookie, tookie, tookie. <laughs> I'll eat Last year when I start eating hot dogs again, bro. And niggas used to because you go to a cookout, niggas pulling. Oh, <laughs> nah, that used yeah. to be crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That that was what weird. What the fuck, bro? I was that gonna. Was I was terrible. about to name drop niggas. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say. Nah, I'm I'm like, using niggas like niggas. Niggas. Whatever a fucking hot dog came out, bro. <laughs> I'm like, damn, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I got a few uh, videos on my phone of niggas, though. Niggas I can't get act hot like dog? I ain't do it yet. <laughs> can't act like I ain't do it. But At still, least I'm bro. glad we're gone. We're past that, Yeah, bro. for real, because... Now I can... I, fair, I, niggas said they used to hide in the bathroom and eat their hot dogs. <laughs> no, nah, bathroom hot dog is crazy because the smell of the bathroom... No, bathroom hot dog is crazy. Yo, bathroom... Bathroom bo- ketchup. Nasty. That's gross, bro. Uh, I, I I just didn't even in the crib, but the hot dogs we had in the crib was just there, and me and my brother was like, "Yo, bro, when the last time you eat that shit?" He was like, "I eat that shit since 2020." Who <laughs> said that? Yeah, we ain't eat hot dogs since 2020. It was in the 2021. 
Oh my god, bro. Said, Fuck it. Oh, nah, bro. But but do you want you want to you want to ask the people your question, bro? You asked me yesterday, so I can give you my full answer. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, bro. Yo, yo, that's I got. I got. Remember how I worded it? Um, I don't remember how I worded it. It was with the. Uh, you have to ask. He said, "Um, like, what's your favorite food that you eat?" Like, yes. okay, 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 perfect, perfect, perfect. So now, right, this is for the for the for the fellas, right? So you got your your favorite food that you eat, right? Your favorite food. Think about it. I want you to sit there and think about your favorite food. Everybody, close you your gotta, eyes. You got to close your eyes. Just listen to me talk, bro. You know I got the smooth voice. You got your favorite food, you sitting down eating in front of the TV, watching your favorite show, right? And you have a lot of it. So when you eat a lot of it, of your favorite food, you now have the itis. So now the itis and then that nap. So now everybody knows the itis after the great meal, then that nap be buzzing. Like that shit is crazy. It's OD. Now that versus the best box you ever received. But it's just that though. You can't sleep after that box. So the itis versus the box. What are you taking? I'm taking the Gucci. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna Gucci. lie because I feel like <laughs> I'm, not, I'm. I'm taking. I'm taking the eats right. And I was talking to my my son Keys. Keys like that must mean you get hella Gucci. No, no, I don't. Mean that. <laughs> it's the all right. So after you get the box right, I know I gave a lot to to the side of the food. But it's because of how heavy that box weighs. Right? <laughs> so now, after you get the food, right? Yeah. You just eat the food and you sleep. Mm-hmm. And that sleep lasts a minute. Mm-hmm. You want to slumber. <laughs> like you're out, right? Yeah. So, but for the, for the gal, she's still here. <laughs> so? after and, and if it's the best box, right? On top of that. You in there till two minutes, <laughs> <laughs> but it's Boy, your, you in there two minutes. Niggas can flex like no, I ain't in there two. If that junk is the best, two minutes. <laughs> but that's your girl. What if it's your girl though? <laughs> that's, it don't matter who it is. Nigga, it's, it's two minutes. <laughs> but <laughs> maybe I'm just being biased because like when I really when I eat food, I really don't sleep afterwards. So you never had the itis. I had the itis, but I ne- oh wait. Maybe, maybe like, nah, I don't count because I was in the car. So I always go to sleep in the car. Nigga, those be busted too, though. <laughs> like a car. The like itis that. after, in the car? Like when we was, uh, we was in Philly getting, uh, canes. Yeah. And I was eating my canes in the car. I wanted to sleep right there in the car. <laughs> nah. And that shit would have been lovely. But you got, and this, this is, this is my argument, right? So look, if you, I gotta call Pierre. Hey Pierre, I gotta call you and ask you this question. So now, <laughs> if you, if you right, eat a good meal, yeah, you don't want, you don't really want coochie, but if you <laughs> bust a good nut, you want food. <laughs> you <eat a> good, <laughs> if you eat a good meal, you good for the day. You like, damn, I'm cool. You laid back. We like, yeah, I'm trying to. All right, well, give me one second. I'm full. <laughs> After you bust that nut, I'm hungry. Yeah, but it's like it's two different things. Now you got you just burn energy, and now you need to get the carbs back. But after that's you- what I'm saying. That <laughs> feeling is 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 good, bro. I, it's good. Hey, people, let me know what you think, bro. Yeah, my bro. fellas, let me know what you think. Hey, bro, you, you don't even got to deal with the gal. You feel me? If you choose the food, like I just think it's calm, bro. Oh man, bro. I don't got to talk to you. I just eat my food all the day, bro. And I'm talking about that sleep. We know what made me think about the question is because I made some ribs, right? Yeah. I made some ribs and some rice. I ate that drawing. I ate about five of them ribs <laughs> with the rice. <laughs> and I went to sleep. I'm talking about I woke up drool on my face, bro. I don't even drool for real. And I'm like, yo, that shit was lovely. Wow. Like, that shit was equivalent to, to nothing. <laughs> so I'm like, yo, bro. <laughs> yo, like, nah, that's crazy. I'm like, yo, bro, we got... I gotta talk to the bros. I gotta know what they thinking. Like, is that why you put it in the chat? Yes. Wow. That's I'm like, crazy. which is better? Like, what's equal? That's... And it's actually like, believe it or not, it's actually going down the line. Yeah, niggas good... is like the food, and niggas is like the cooch. Yeah, that's a decent. That's a that's decent a, argument. Yeah. That's a decent argument, bro. I. That's funny as hell, bro. All right, what other things? Yeah, are and if you don't choose the food, I don't think you eat good, bro. I don't yeah, think you, I don't I know, think some you, niggas might not eat. Yeah, good, I don't bro. think niggas eat lovely, bro. But nigga, you should know what the fucking um 
what the itis is, people. If you don't mm. know what the itis is, like you said, you ain't eating good, bro. I don't yeah, know what food you eat. You like you a vegetarian yeah. or a vegan. You can't even get the itis with eating a vegan. I, I don't think no, so. I don't think so, no. Like eating that shit? No, unless you eat a lot of it, bro. I still don't think. I think if you eat a lot of that vegan food, you get you get energized. Energy. <laughs> <laughs> you get energized. That's how you know it's bad though. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like we eat but this no, shit, I... get tired, bro. Nah, bro. Even even so, niggas are niggas are not and want to sleep too. But yeah. Even so, even if we make the scenario where you sleep with the nut too, I'm still choosing the the, the full sleep. Yeah. Over nut sleep. <laughs> For sure. So have you went? Have you like ate good food and went to sleep like eight hours? Yes. At like, but like at like eight p.m. Eight, no, 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 no. I've, had, I've ate good food at like seven. And woke up at like twelve. <laughs> That's so, crazy. Woke up at like twelve for the game. That's crazy. I can't do that. I don't know. I really can't do so that. Could be her on Call of Duty. What? Nah, she she plays sometimes. Oh, yeah. Jay's playing Call of Duty in the background. People, y'all don't know. But what question? Oh, I got I got a question. I had a question that I was gonna ask because since it was Christmas and things like that. Mm-hmm. So, what is one gift you never got? Oh, what's one gift that you always wanted as a child but you never got it? Um. I'm thankful for my mother. I got everything. I yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. I, got, I, I love every yeah. gift. I'm I, not going to lie. This is just a question. I got, I got everything. I, I got a lot. Gonna lie. Like, I, and we was, like, we didn't really ask for nothing too crazy. I didn't really, I didn't, so, but like, they would just, I would just make a list just in case. Yeah, I, I think I got, I, everything I really wanted, I got. Oh, really? So, right. like I said, we were simple kids. We just wanted video games and shit. I wanted so, I, which there was, too expensive. Like, there was, we didn't ask for designer and shit for Christmas. Oh, hell video no. Games, nah, I didn't ask for that. I, I feel like, Freaking um there was one time I was a kid, I won this one little go kart thing that was out. I forgot what it was called. It used to be I used to see it on TV all the time. It was like them little razor go karts. Oh, the razor shirts, yeah. yeah. I always wanted that one. That was you the one thing. It, nah, I never got that one. Nah, like like a razor scooter? It was like or a the... scooter, but it looked like a it's like a go kart. Oh, it was the, like a drifting thing. Yeah, the drifting right? thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I always like wanted that about. one. I always wanted that they one. They still got them shit. Do they really? They have them like what at Walmart? Walmart, Dick Sporting Goods. You can oh, still you can still cop. That's tough. Shit, but, I might um, need that, bro. Dang, I'm no, nah, I don't. I think I'm very thankful. I think I got everything. That's good, bro. Like I don't have one Christmas in my brain where I was like, "Damn, I think I ain't get shit." Except one Christmas where I was doing like bad in school, behaving bad in school. Yeah. And even so, my mom still got me stuff. Like she's still good. blessed up. My grandma's still blessed up. So people be grateful for what you got. Y'all be very grateful. Like, you know what I'm I was never like, "Damn, he got this one and it's bigger than me." I'm like, "Nah, I'm." Thank you. Because <laughs> I was so bad that I'm just happy I got something. You was one of those kids like in the movie, bro? I was so bad. I'm just happy I got something. Not to say that I was like terrible, but I wasn't deserving of Christmas gifts. Like You was, was, do- you was those kids? Yeah, I was. Bro. Like you ever watch the Christmas movies? Like they'd be the bad kids. Like he'd be <laughs> <laughs> He's expecting something bro. like like cold for like, Christmas. I should, nigga should have, I ain't gonna lie. Nigga should have got cold, bro. <laughs> like my grades was bad. I was getting in trouble by the teachers. Like everything was, everything was L. So, hey yo, bro. Still, my, my mother still got me everything I wanted, bro. That's crazy. They still got PS threes, PS twos, video games, this and that. And I remember we used to, um, like for video games, cause we knew which was video games. We would rip the uh, the pack and see what game we got for Christmas. Are you serious? That's how I knew I got Call of Duty. <laughs> Black Ops in middle school. What the hell, nigga? Yeah. Was just, nigga, what kind of wait? In middle school, I was bad. Like my grades was bad. I was misbehaving. Still got a PS3 and Call of Duty. That's tough. With controllers and everything. W moms, bro. Yeah, W mom for real, bro. I might, I might have to send her this clip. <laughs> Does she know you be doing the podcast? Yeah, she knows. Oh, okay. I don't send her a podcast. Bro. I feel like everybody, parents know. Cause I remember Jordan's parents be saying like, oh. oh really? Yeah, they watch yeah. it? They'll oh. watch it here and there. Like, I wonder if they see me in his episode. Probably. They definitely did. Mm. I know Jordan's dad said something. Tyrone's mom knows. Corey's dad watches this. Yeah, Corey, that's my son. That's my guy right there, bro. Corey dad watches. Corey dad actually said something to me about that episode. Really? Yeah, when we was at Corey's house, he actually said something to me. That's He's like him right there. I like him. I like him right there. He's African and he proud of that. I like him. I like, that's my guy. That's a bad that's funny my guy. Let me think. I think I think Chris's mom knows, but I don't know. I don't know too much. Nah, I don't. I don't think. I feel like he don't want his mom to yeah. know. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like he, not, he might be saying some wild junk. But. Yeah. Um, my mom knows I say wild stuff, but don't know I say wild stuff at the same time. But like, she'll know the degree of wild stuff that I say. Are you serious? But then, but she wouldn't be surprised because I say what I want at the same time. Yeah. So that's tough. That's tough. But what else? What else? What other topics do I have today? Oh, 
All right, so this is, I was thinking about this the other day, bro. Like, I be, you know, my TikTok feed is full of hella, like, simulation conspiracy thing, but I be, like, mm-hmm. falling down a hole. I be thinking sometimes, but, like, I be walking around life like, damn, what if this really is, like, some some simulation shit and everything around me is just not real? Like, like me right sitting in front of you? And like, I, like this is this is, what, this is what I mean by that. So, like, I'm going through life, and it's, like, everything around me is, like, programmed mm-hmm. for me to, like, like, because, like, not even, like, real, but it's, like, some some in that sense, because, like, I don't know what you're thinking, but I know what I'm thinking mm. type of shit. So it's, like, you could be just, like, some random figment of my imagination just bring me through life, shit like that. And then at the mm. end, cause, and then at the end, it's, like, I die. But then people be saying when you die, you li- you relive your life in, like, a seven-minute span. So, like, if I die, it's, like, I relive my life, and it's only going seven minutes, but it feels like a lifetime. Do mm. I keep dying, like... Like it's just like a continuous loop. So say, say right, you die right now. Mm-hmm. God forbid, you die right now. Shit like that. You relive your life. I never die. I live eternally. <laughs> in the kingdom of God. Anyway, you re- you relive your life. It lasts seven minutes, but to you it feels like a lifetime until you die again. So mm-hmm. when you die again, then you do it again and you're doing it again. So it's like a loop. So you continuously just living your life, but you just don't die. Dang. Type shit like that. That's why. That's that's what yeah. niggas was. That's what they say happens to your brain. Mm. Like it's like seven minutes of like consciousness. But what if I? Yeah, but like it's still seven minutes of consciousness. But what if I boom Blow your my... brain? But it's like I think <laughs> that I don't know. Maybe that in that circumstance, that's probably when it ends. Mm. But maybe like if you die like like sickness or things like that, that's probably when it's like capsulated. See that that I think so too. I think your your brain does a whole bunch of bullshit. Not a whole bunch of bullshit, but a whole bunch of things. If you're not beheaded or something like that, yeah, because I f- or or because it's really it's really weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Niggas it, do get shot in the head. Bro. They do, yeah. but it's just like it's really I don't know, but like this is like so weird. Like I just be thinking like 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 I don't even know how to say it. It's like experiencing it, but like I don't. Oh, pause, pause. She really like a lay man. <laughs> That's how she be, bro. That's how she be. She be going hard, like bro. a 12 year old right in front of the TV, bro. Anyway, continue, bro. So, like, I be just thinking, like, yo, this all could just be, like, a reality made up just for me to, like, be entertained mm. because there's something else that's happening. I don't even know what the fuck going on. Like, if I die, I could just be really reliving the same thing, just going through different, like. What if you already died? That's what I'm saying. Mm. And that's why the deja vu happens. Mm, that's tough. So I don't know. I and like like there's a lot of people that. So I was watching this one dude that was saying like he's like a num. I don't know what it's called, like numerologist, some shit like that. And he believes like a lot of numbers mean something. Mm, so I believe that too. So like I. That's I, why I'm heavy on the three. You already know why three. I'm in a building. Oh really? In the building. Hell yeah, I believe in numbers. Like I started. I started doing that a little bit, but so he was saying right, like certain numbers mean something. So I was. I, wa- I was watching a video, bro, but I, I don't like talking about this because I love him, bro. R.I.P. Kobe, all this stuff, bro. I don't like talking about shit about Kobe because that shit really hurt my heart when that shit happened. Mm. But he said all this stuff leading up to Kobe was kind of like not predetermined, but like a warning of like this might happen. So so basically, this is like a – so the first step of like the whole coincidence was like every one of Kobe's like major accomplishments happened at the free throw line, if you ever notice. Like his first NBA mm. points was at the free throw line. When he scored 81 on the Raptors, was at the free throw well, line. The free throw line. Was it, uh, oh yeah, it was. And then when he went, when he played, when he passed Michael Jordan, mm. when he played the Timberwolves, he shot free throws and passed Michael Jordan. Mm. His last NBA points were at the free throw free line. Throw, yeah. When he tore his Achilles, when the Jazz did the uh, the. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When he tore his Achilles, he still shot the free throws. Mm. When he broke his finger, he still shot free throws. So. That was just like a little coincidence, but what they was saying was when Kobe when Kobe got subbed out after his last game, the clock said four point one. Mm. So then he died when he was forty one years old, and then when the Lakers won the championship the year he died, like the Kobe year, he died. They they won the championship on October tenth, twenty twenty, and if you or October twenty oh twenty October tenth, two thousand twenty, and if you add the numbers up, it equals the forty one. Mm. And then they say a lot of like remember that one commercial with Kobe Bryant, Kanye, and um, I forgot what the other dude name was. Like, you got to be the best, right? That's yeah, it. the yeah. one where he was like fighting off demons and things like that. There was uh-huh. a at the end, Kanye escaped, and Kobe threw a bomb at a helicopter, 
and the helicopter exploded. So they're saying that's like foreshadowing. There was also there was a bunch of like Simpsons videos of Kobe in a helicopter crashing in a helicopter. Mm. And it's just like I don't know if this is a big coincidence or if this is all like planned out. No, nah, I mean I don't know I if they're looking too deep into it yeah, though. At I, the same time, they yeah, might be looking a little a lot, too deep. A lot deep. of things they be looking too deep in it, but a lot of things No, nah, I think it's a coincidence. You think, that's what I'm I don't know. Like it's weird though. 41 mm. Like, those, like them numbers line up like that? I don't know. And maybe it could just be me being like a fan of the game and a fan of Kobe's game that yeah. I don't want to believe it. Yeah, that's me. That's exactly me? Like, bro. I just don't want to believe that. But I didn't want to, like, bro. It took- and then you also got the people that, like, there's a group of individuals that believe, like, all NBA players and all superstars and all millionaires are Illuminati and yeah. believe in this and worship this and all, all type of shit. So. It's a whole bunch of theories and shit out there. You never it's know, like, bro. Yeah. I don't. I don't know, bro. It's it, I, when I seen that, bro. I was like, wait, this kind of kind. This is kind of creepy. Like it was a whole video. He broke it down, but it's like, how do you find that? It was before, isn't it? Like, reach here, reach here. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I know what you mean. But uh, I got another question, right? Mm-hmm. So you have sixty minutes to hold off a wave of an enemy that comes every ten minutes, right? So which one are you choosing? What kind of, wait, what, are you telling me the enemy? Yeah, it's me and you. So so oh, we got me and you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Crazy. Let's get ready. You know what I'm saying. Let's so we ready. got a house full of guns. No, no crazy. We got we no crazy like explosive okay, except grenades. No guns. Oh, all right. <laughs> so Just it's, give me the swords. It's Dude. Call of Duty zombies. You know, you know do well swords. Let's get crazy. Oh, all right, okay, bro. we'll give you the we'll give you them swords. Mm-hmm. So it's Call of Duty zombies. So every ten minutes it'll be fifty of them. So when I, by zombies, mm-hmm. I'm talking about which you know, round? It's it, it randoms and varies. So like you know how some of them were big, some of them were little. Yeah. The flying shits, the ones that had armor like that, mm-hmm. or World War Two zom- World War Z zombies. But it's a hundred every ten minutes. Give me the Call of Duty zombies. You gonna take the Call of Duty ones? Hell yeah. Even with the big ass ones? Even with the big ass ones, light, nigga. Are you serious? It's just light. Wait, we was playing a video game. We gotta think yeah. about it. We got we got aim. You I sp- got aim in real life. <laughs> we got aim for real? All right, all right this okay, I'm using this, right? But even so, right? Yeah. When we go to like these places where we gotta use guns and shit, I'm always number one. I'm always on top. You want the laser tag? I ain't gonna lie. That's a prime example. I'd be going stupid. Like And that was right when Jason was fresh out was the fresh army. Fresh out of the army, shitting on him. He's supposed, he's supposed to be the shooter. This nigga's really try hard in real life. Like I'm not, I don't know if y'all know. Like this nigga's really like real life a try hard. Like, like I'm just waiting on my my opportunity. Like to That's do it. what? <laughs> to defend the world, bro. That's it. Yo, I'm uh, not bro. Ain't saying yo that scenario. You're not saying nothing to me. So that so the Call of Duty zombies use cool. Easy. Even the the dogs. Nigga, the dogs is going out first. Nigga, I would be head one of them shits. Oh my god, dude, the I'm dogs about... is fucking light, bro. Hey, as long as you holding it down, bro, I you... hold it down. You don't even got to fight, bro. <laughs> Just tell me where they coming from, bro. Hey, bro, you don't even got to fight, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I was talking about this last pod. Remember how you said we all, like the main character syndrome? I think I'm starting to have that, bro. Turn it up. Bro. I be I be ready, but like it be weird though. Like I be ready, like in the sense where like I can't be scared. You should. You shouldn't though. Like I like, like I'm prepared. You should, though. you should. You never know what's gonna happen. Like, yeah. Even so. Expect the unexpected. Like I'm so I be having dreams about the unexpected. So I'm ready. <laughs> like as a kid, not even as a kid, like middle school, early high school, I used to have zombie dreams all the time. Oh. So zombies pop up, I'm not scared. He was one of those kids that shouldn't be playing video games at that age. <laughs> he was one of those. But that's kids. The, that's the thing though. I wasn't even <laughs> playing those kind of games for real. Like only game for real I was playing was like maybe Call of Duty, and I I wasn't heavy on zombies. Oh really? It's just. My mental is I'm just ready for that. That's crazy. Like, like that's crazy that. how you I'm, just ready. And- <laughs> I'm ready, bro. Like, ready for you? life. I'm ready for life, bro. Hey, I just bro. can't. Like, I'm getting excited. Like, my legs say, I'm getting excited. Like, so I'm going to put in that position. All right. So, fight. say we have to defend the world from aliens or something. Okay. The, the, all, right, the, all right. Let me tell you. Mm. There's a zombie. I'm apo- so tech. Y'all don't even know. Anyway. The government is, is recruiting people to protect the earth from zombies. You're signing up? No, because I don't want to protect the earth. I want to protect my people. Okay, okay, okay. Respect. I can fuck about the earth. Respect, respect, respect. <laughs> <laughs> I can fuck about the earth. I'm worried about my people. Like, bring oh, bring the baddies to me. I'll protect the baddies, bro. Yo. Oh, speaking of that, th- yo, people, this nigga really think he real life Batman. That whole sentence, that's something Batman would say. I am Batman. Do you know why? Well, I'll tell you weird. This nigga, because I wanted to bring, I didn't want to bring this up, but he just reminded me. This nigga, UJ, right? So this nigga moved, right? He moved to South wait, Jersey. Wait, 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 wait,
Let me, can I talk? <laughs> wait, 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 what is it, what is it, what does it pertain, what does it pertain? An edible. I don't know what you talk about. All right, look, saying. so, this nigga UJ, right, he moved to South Jersey, right, me, it's me, him, and Fritz at, uh, we at, uh, I don't even know, we at Ross. He talking about he want a dog, right? He wants a dog, he wants a dog, right? He wants a dog. He we says, oh, what are we like? What type? What type of dog you want? He said a big black dog. We think a Rottweiler. He said no, the big tall ones, the Great Danes. I'm like, all right, that's a weird choice. <laughs> and he said he wants it like full grown. He don't want a puppy. So I'm like, okay. I I'm watching DC. I'm watching uh what what, what? I was watching fucking um Death of Superman, the DCMU movie. And at mm-hmm. the end when uh when Batman didn't show up to the funeral, mm-hmm. the nigga I seen the dog. I said, wait. Nah, I'm like, no way, bro. <laughs> this nigga wants to. This nigga, nigga texted me at four o'clock in the morning, man. <laughs> what like, is what his name? Fuck? Is his name Brutus? No, Ace. Ace, Ace, Ace. Ace the blood. Nigga wants <laughs> Batman's dog in real life. I said, nah, this nigga is really bro, sick. I don't want Black Batman's dog in you, real life. You, you, but ba- it is what it is. Like, that's the only dog <laughs> that would fit me. Is a big black dog. Okay, but like you could have said, a, we, we were saying Rottweiler. You said you didn't want that. No, I don't want that. So you wanted that dog. Like you, it may, but it just makes sense for that dog to be with me. Like you, you seen Chris's like a uh, little short film he made of a nigga that think he Batman. That's you. No, it's not. That's you. <laughs> that is you, bro. No, it's that not. But you. the thing is, like, I don't think I'm Batman. It's just the way that my <laughs> life be operating and shit be going on. It's like, damn, Batman experienced something very similar to this. Am I Batman? You feel me? And then <laughs> you have situations where, because Batman get the bitches too. So mm-hmm. I have situations where I, where I deal with females, and it's like, damn, that don't happen to Batman too. Damn, she treat Batman the same way that this girl treat me. Like, we had the same situation. Like, One of your girls try to take over the world, bro? In in a way. <laughs> in a way, I'm trying to show you. Like, Yo, in a way, no, like, I, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, I got a cat woman. I got uh, a Italia. Italia. Like, you feel me? <laughs> I got a poison ivy. You feel me? Like, like it get it get like it like that. Hey, bro, that's too funny, bro. But you you seen what was going on with all the DC movies? Like what? They um they're revamping everything. Bro, they do that shit every fucking year. But like, they're, paying attention. but they they cut in. They're like the the Superman they have. He's not gonna be Superman no more. They're uh, I think they're changing Aquaman. I think they're changing Wonder Woman. They're changing everything. Like everything's just clean slate. And wait, you're talking about the the and the animations or the real life? The real life. Word. Yeah. They're so changing the Aquaman. They changed the Aquaman. I think they're recasting them as something else. I forgot what the new, the dude name was. It was. I think it's like a one of the one of the dudes from. A villain? No, I think it was one of Shazam's, like the wizard, the wizard, the wizard from Shazam. Word. I think it was him, one of those guys. So they're recasting everybody, and they want a younger Superman. So oh, that so they could carry him on. I I guess, but like I don't know what I thought direc- the Superman was. I thought he was alright. That's what I'm saying. I thought he was pretty good. Yeah. But I don't know what direction they're going in at, like with DC. I'm yeah, not gonna lie. I don't know who the head of the table is, but it's bad. It's bro. bad, bro. They like just the, keep like restarting. The DC we animated. Like, yo, it's so good. It's so good, bro. Like, just copy. Like, you could copy. Nah, don't copy too great. You can add bro, a little spice cop, to it. Copy and paste. Just kill niggas. Just start killing. Copy and paste, but just kill instead of hurt. I know, right? And then now nah, it was lit. It, bro, it's just, it's, I don't know. It's like, they're nah, so behind believe, Marvel I now. I can't believe you just, you just exposed my, my dog. Bro. bro, that was so crazy. <laughs> like, that was so can't bad. You just exposed my dog, bro. Because you really just think you, like, that's that was nuts. <laughs> I really thought you was crazy. I'm not going to lie. I really, like, it clicked, it clicked in my mind. I'm like, wait. This nigga, yo. this nigga weird. I'm like, yo, <laughs> like it really clicked in my mind, bro. That shit was so nuts, bro. Yo, it's crazy. Nobody peeped that. You're bad, weird for people. I, bro, because any if anybody asks me, I always say I just want a big black dog every time. No. I never say what kind of dog. Because I literally just seen it. I'm like, wait, and it just clicked. I said, yo, I, I but went. But the to- thing is, right? It just so happened. But I always wanted a dog that was similar to me. But it just so happens that what. <laughs> Batman has a black dog. Bro, this is like a psychological thing, bro. It's not. It's so bro. deep. It's just. <laughs> it's so nah, deep. Nah, it's just one of them things. It's just a coincidence. In real life, like, all just aside, like, I always just wanted a big black dog. Like, ever since a kid. Before so, like, like a realized. Clifford, but black. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it just so happens that, like, I wanted a dog that represented me properly. You feel me? So, it and just ha- so happens that you represent it, Batman. It just so happens that Ace... It's also a big black dog. Yeah, that was crazy, bro. I put two and two <laughs> yeah, together, bro. I thought I was it just so a you know what I'm saying. Genius. It just so happened, like that's, oh my that's god, my dog. that, that was, was so crazy. Like bro. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna name my dog Ace and everything. 
I swear to God, I would name my dog Ace. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna name him Ace. I thought he was gonna name him something a little more vicious. I'm not even gonna lie. No, nah, like like uh what's that uh shit from Drake and Josh? Tiberius. Tiberius <laughs> Tiberius, <laughs> that's an evil dog. Yo. That's what I thought you wanted. Nah, that's a black dog. Yeah, I can I can fuck with a Tiberius, but his <laughs> name is gonna be Ace, though. <laughs> bro, oh my god, bro. All right, I have another question, bro. Mm. So, would you rather live in a world where everyone is switched genders? But like, all right, so let me say this again. So you're going in this world as yourself. Mm. So, would you rather live in a world where everyone is switched genders, or where our roles are switched with animals, as in a sense where Humans are being hunted. Animals are working, doing the due diligence, um, doing the jobs. I think we are already in a world where uh, there are switch genders. Huh? I no, I mean like I'm a girl now. Oh, so you mean like everybody you know is the a world that we're in is opposite. Opposite. So okay. now all your boys is girls. Am I a girl too? No, you're still you, Jay. Nah, that's weird. <laughs> you gonna fall in love with me, weird. bro? Nah. I'll be a baddie. Ah uh, damn! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what, bro? That's the first thing Yo, I thought. Of. No, no, no! You're weird. You're <laughs> really weird. That was. I don't even. I ain't even gonna even touch on that. I'm gonna cook you. I'm gonna cook him off of the podcast. That was. That was, that was a L. But um. Yo, bro. If the world is reversed, that means my dad is my mom. Yep. Same same personality though. Just different genders. That's a weird world. Cause I'm very- already used to. Very real world. Or you could so be every every girl that I talk to is a guy now. Yep. Oh no, nah, this is weird. So if I, <laughs> if I start if I start talking to a girl and you she revert back to a, a dude. What? No, she used to, like but in your world she was a dude. Like say you was like say it was But like, I didn't know her in my world though. Yeah, you didn't know, so you're good. Uh, but like I in the back in, in your mind you know she was a dude at, in another universe. But what I'm looking at right now is a woman. she still got the ooch. Yeah, in the new world. Yeah, I'm straight. I don't give a fuck what. <clears throat> but a me- <laughs> but what if it's somebody from high school that you like you didn't record like you know you know you know of him, but like you didn't bro, really talk. To but him. what's the other what's the other shit? Bro? <laughs> or it's a world where the rules of us and animals are switched. So like, give me the animal. You gonna do that one? Yeah, I'll take the animal. But they could be hunting you down though. Fuck it. You go. You go. You- <laughs> but you know the cut because you said that. I'm still me. You're still you, so you're a human. Yeah, so y'all kill the rest of these niggas, bro. But like, they can look at you as like, like food. But I'm still me, so I'm I'm moving tech. Like say like this, like say like you you know like say like with Jordan, Boomer is the owner, and Jordan is like, <laughs> so like like shit like that. Boomer and Dakota are like the parents, and it's like, <laughs> like that. <laughs> like you ever see? <laughs> Yo, and they be walking Jordan. Yeah. Oh man, I take that world over. You do that. <laughs> I still take that world as long as I ain't nobody, no dogs owner or nothing. Like Ace not walking me. I'm <laughs> but like, yeah, like you ever seen Rick and Morty when they was going through the dimensions and like there would be one dimension where it was like it was like humans were re- yeah, switched with food. It was like, like that. shit yeah, like I that. that yeah. I I take that. You take that. Over the other, I just feel like the other one would fuck my brain up. <laughs> like it would fuck my brain. But up. if you if move, it's, if it's people I know, that's what I'm saying. If you, I mean, you in South Jersey now, so you probably be cooling. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, but yeah, I, I, that's what I'm saying. That's why I was initially going with that until you said somebody I know from high school, and then I find out it was <laughs> that nigga. Like imagine, I can't do that. Like imagine you talking to a girl in this universe, and she's like, "You like where you from?" I'm like, "I'm from Union." And then you start thinking like, yo, which like which nigga is this? Which dude is this? No, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. Nah, nope, 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 no, no, no. That's that's the only bad thing. That's the only bad that's thing. The only bad thing. If it wasn't for that, you'd been cool. I would have did it. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's Clint's bad. Still, a, still a girl. She just it just rolls reverse world. Oh, uh, that's. I mean? But but what if your what if your gender switched? And I'm a girl. Yeah. And everybody else is the same. No, everybody's uh everybody's everybody's gender switched. So I'm a girl, Jay's a boy. If all the guys is girls, we straight then I ain't tripping, bro. I'm just gonna fuck with the girls that I was fucking with <laughs> when they guys now. I don't I wanna ask this question, but I don't know. What you talking? Don't be weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you about to ask me, but don't be weird. I'm not, I'm not gonna ask I'm not gonna ask it. That's funny though. Hey bro. <laughs> Pose, bro. Yo, we gonna be a group full of baddies. 
Nah, we gonna be a group for the baddies. For the baddies, bro. Cap, bro. We ain't no thotties, though. Nah, I'm thotting, bro. You. Th- Everybody get. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, bro. All right, what, what else I gotta talk about, bro? Um, what else I got for? You got anything you want to say before I I talk about some other shit? I got some um, good topics to talk about. We'll talk about the league a little bit, the NBA yeah. a little bit. What's up? You got my 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 boy Jason Tatum. You know what I'm saying? Going wild. You Shout know what out saying? to him. Shout out to Jason Tatum. You got my son Zion, and I kept. Even on this podcast, I kept telling y'all niggas about Zion Williamson. You're right. Now, Zion Williamson is an MVP talk. In another universe, he ain't playing no more. But in this universe, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in his yeah, universe, he's hooping. The young bull, he's in MVP talks. He's in number good shape. One, number one team on in the NBA. You get talking about, oh, his knees, his knees. I his did. His knees is fine. He won a championship the next four years. He's a Hall of Famer. He did. He did. I get so, it. So, you feel me? And, and they're, they're talking about the Pelicans are winning the chip. I can see it. They're they're a pretty complete team. I don't think nobody they're realized. Complete. Zion is a is a monster. I feel like so. they're what the they're, they're like the Raptors, but they could shoot. Mm. Like nah, they their team is a little smaller than the Raptors. But like in the in a sense, they're like a bunch of lanky three and D guys. Three and D guys, okay. But the Raptors is like six eight bunch six eight all across the board, but they can't shoot. Mm. These guys, they got you got Brandon Ingram six nine. You got CJ McCollum 6'3", but he's like a, like the Gary Trent or like the Fred Van Fleet. Mm-hmm. And then you got, uh, I don't even know, who the fuck they point guard? It's him. Uh, they, I mean, Jose's still becoming Jose that, or that one of the... One of the um, CJ, CJ's been playing point. Okay. okay. And then you got Herb Jones. He like 6'8", Herb locked Jones down. Pretty big. And I he, thought Herb Jones was like a guard at first, but he's actually big as fuck. When he, when he was in um Alabama, he played like, he was like point forward. That's why I liked yeah, him a lot. He was, pretty, he was yeah, nice. He's, he's pretty tall, bro. But and they got uh Valachunas. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah, Valachunas, he's tough. But I like see what do you, what all right, so it's about to be the halfway point. What do you think the awards are for this year at the halfway the point? Awards are, are good. so everyone is giving it to Jason Tatum for the MVP. Okay, I I'll, I'll be fine with Every, that. Every everyone's saying I'll Jason take that. Tatum MVP, Jason Tatum MVP. If the Lakers are winning, oh, wait, what is it? for sure. If the Lakers are winning, right? Yeah. For sure, Anthony Davis. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga Anthony Davis is going for blood. Yeah, he's um, tweaking. He, averaging a little, he probably averaging like almost 27 in the game right now. He's, yeah, he's, he's going for blood. And mm-hmm. With the defense. Yeah, with the defense, too. Get a hell of boards. Uh, defensive player of the year. Could yeah. pos- still possibly be him. Yeah, it could be AD. I can see that. Um, they, uh, they were saying a lot of OG and Anobi. Yeah, but that's that's what I'm saying. That's one of those players that I'm saying. That's how you know that the media controls so much. Yeah, but I could see I could see Ob uh, Ob OG. OG and an Ob. I could see him. Uh, yeah, being the physical player of the year, uh, most improved. I'm going with Bobo. A lot of people saying that. A lot of people like they said if if the award was for based off of like where you really started from to now, mm. he would really win it like, because he was like, this is, this was his last contract. If he wasn't going to yeah. do it, he's going to be out of here. He's going to be out of the NBA or going to the, to the G. Now he's like actually part of like the young core mm-hmm. of like the magic. And which he always was able to be. So what do you think it was? Like really, what do you think? It I was? think it was that the nuggets, right. Didn't have a place for him. Mm-hmm. So the thing that he does right now on the magic is what Jokic is what Jokic does. Yeah. So he, and I ain't gonna lie. Low key, like scoring wise and more. Like if he like when he gets older, like mm-hmm. next year, he's averaging maybe 12, 13 right now. Yeah. That's jumping up to seventeen. I can see that. Uh, that for sure jumping up to seventeen. Because he's had games where he's like, where you like, damn. That one thing when he hit him with the with the spin move up and over, that was hard. I'm like, I'm like, yo, you he, he, he has Saying flashes, you called like, it, bro. I called it, bro. You did. I called it. You were saying. I was, yo, was saying. before the season even started, I think I called it during the summer. You did. He said Bobo might be is gonna be that guy. That, I didn't that believe guy. it. I'm like, he was like, oh, his legs, his knees. This nigga, this, this, this I, like, bro. I remember we was in. This was during COVID. This nigga Abe was trying to convince all of us that he could fry Bobo in a one on one. Nah, Bulls kill, Bulls kill him. Bro, he said he's just seven for you shoot over. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, Bro. he's like cooking you. Like, he literally gonna block your three if he had the if he had the foul line. Bull is, uh, shout out, hey, Bull is like literally. I'm talking about tween tween hezzy up. It's, he's, going up. Straight, oh, he's going straight. He's going straight over. Pound over, over. left. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, Yo. Abe was tweaking. Like he was like uh. we was we was arguing for like a good like. It was after practice. It was probably a good 25 minutes. I'm talking about, I'm talking about pound over. 
Lefty like, lay. Like, he was out here showing us the moves he was going to do on him. He was like, that's not going to happen. <laughs> that's not going to happen. Lefty lay. Like, he is top five in blocks right now in the Probably NBA. Probably three. Maybe three. Maybe three. He's so average like, almost two. So, he's So, at, I'm he's like, bro, this is even in a conversation for, for Depoy. Yeah. Like, that's yeah, crazy. If he gets the rebounds to, like, if he would get it to, like, 12, 12 11, that would be good. That's great. That's right there. And now he's there, but he still be he be getting seven, eight rebounds yeah. a game. I feel like he's, he's just he's up. not he's like Porzingis, bro. Yeah, Porzingis seven three, but he really don't get rebounds, rebounds like that. Yeah, because he's he be he's out. leaking. Yeah, and he be leaking. He be shooting threes. Porzingis yeah. having a good season too, low key. I'm not gonna lie, mm. having like twenty four. Yeah, Porzingis doing his little thing, and that's all. Nobody I, talks about. I him. like I like unicorn players. I do too. I love unicorn players. I was so I sad he got like, hurt, bro. I just feel like the world just be like, injury, injury. I'm like, bro, no. Just let him go, bro. Medicine is different. Yeah. He going to heal up after that injury. He going to be all right. Zion, he's too big. No, the medicine is different. He going to be all right. I'm glad Bo Bo is now shining like this because before it would have been Victor Wembanyama is going to do, like he would have been the like, first. We already, and I was saying this when everybody kept saying Victor Wembanyama, the first time we've seen this. Nah. I'm like the nigga Bobo is right here. I know. And I remember he got traded to the Boston Celtics. And I'm like, thank God, thank God. I'm like, my boy on my team. Yeah. And then they let the nigga go. And he was on the Pistons. Yeah, I needed a center too. I think I believe he's on the Pistons. And then the, uh He got traded to the Magic. Mm-hmm. The Magic's gonna be pretty nice. He's, he's I ain't getting, gonna lie. Yo, give it five years. Not even five. I'll five years to the best team in the NBA. Bro, they like they, they stay court? together. Yes. They front court is they all first and of all they I, not, I think they got a lotto again. Uh yeah, from the Bulls. Yeah. Because the Bulls not doing that well. Yeah, bro. They got a lotto again. Bro, like think about it. They they front three. They got they got Franz Wagner. He's mm. nice. Mm. That the white boy. Franz is nice, yeah. He's nice. He averaged like twenty. Av- yeah, I'm like, yeah, he's averaging a, a, you, a good like, buck. You got Paolo averaging twenty, and then you got Bo Bo blocking everything. And they all over six ten. Yeah. They all over six ten. Now you just need the, the whole lineup, even their their power four is bigger than their center. That's what I'm saying. Which is uh, Mo, not Mo. Yeah, Mo, Mo Wagner. That's what I'm saying. So, it's it's gonna be scary, bro. We're not gonna make fun of the Magic anymore, bro. I, I can see years, that. Bro. Couple more like years. You, even you watch certain games, we were like, "Yo, these guys can get a better coach." Yeah. These guys get a better coach, get a point guard. I think they. But the thing is, they got so many young. Cole Anthony's hurt. Yeah. So, but they got so many young point guards that could potentially. Yeah. Get there. They Suggs. They got. I don't even know if Suggs a point guard or two guard. Maybe. I'll, I'll, I'll put him combo. At the point. I'll hopefully put him at the point. I feel like he might be like the little injury prone type of dude. Yeah. Though. So you got combo. You got Cole Anthony still. You still got Mark Fultz. So they got these niggas that's really combos. That's not. Yeah. Yeah. They don't got no real point guard. Like you feel yeah, me? If they find some, they don't got no no real vets on the team. I don't think anybody on that except team Terrence Ross is. Yeah. Except Terrence Ross. He's the only person that's over twenty five. Yeah. He probably like thirty. I think like thirty two. Yeah, pretty he's old. the only person that's over twenty five. Yeah, that's good so, for them though. Like I like they're I, I got open them. But I ain't gonna lie, I, I feel like Pistons were their counterpart of like we're the worst young team. Yeah. We're both young teams and they're shitting on the Pistons, I think. I think the Pistons still good though. I think they're pretty good. I, I think agree. they're in a good direction. And I know the difference is I don't see the potential in in the Pistons players like the way I see the potential in uh Like the, Kate? The not the but I'm looking at the entire Everybody? Magic roster, and I'm oh. like, yo, these niggas can potentially be amazing. The the only three people I got for the Pistons is Isaiah, Cade, Isaiah Stewart. I don't even see Isaiah Stewart. That nigga <laughs> fucking ass. I might go out that nigga's nah, ass. Niggas, niggas be criminal, but he play hard. He do play hard. He play hard. So I feel you're like supposed old, to play hard, but he play hard because he's undersized. <laughs> yeah, I think he, he like six, eight, six, nine. Six nine yeah. pushing it. He probably six yeah. eight. Yeah, I don't. I really don't think he's. Yeah, for sure not six ten. Hell no. Hell no. So. Like that one dude that that they have, his name the Jalen Duran, bro. That mm-hmm. man built like Dwight Howard. That, yeah, and he's like eighteen. Eighteen, word. Just dunk it like that's crazy. Like if he fills out a little more, so you bro, feel like you feel like he's one of those three. I feel like in a couple years, if if they they need a better coach though, they need somebody that got good player development. In a couple mm-hmm. years, he could be something like a really good, like like maybe mm-hmm. defensive player of the year type of thing. Mm-hmm. One down the line a couple times, rebounding champ down the line. Not though he's not really gonna be the guys that's gonna be giving me a post touch all that shit. I feel like he's just gonna get rebounds, dunk, lob, dunk, all that shit. But like that in, in the NBA right now is pretty valuable. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. So we don't. I don't know. But hold on. I need to finish. So we got uh, Depoy. I got Anthony Davis. Yeah. To keep it up. Most uh, improved. Most improved. I got Bobo. Like, mm-hmm. I just feel like you have to give it to him because he's just 
He should. Other, I mean, if if he will be top three, niggas will probably gonna put Shea. Uh, Shea. But, uh, yeah, I guess. Thirty's Shea, crazy. Yeah, thirty's <laughs> crazy. Thirty's. But at the same time, I don't want to give it to Shea because I think Shea's gonna be an all star. Yeah, if it wasn't for Luca, he'd be starting. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. But I think she's gonna be an all star. But uh, who else? Who else? Uh, rookie of the year is definitely Paolo. Yeah. Um, like hands down. They try to say it was the nigga from the uh, from the Kings. Like the, everybody. Key, wanted, oh, in the beginning. Yeah, I mean, he's he's solid. Be the Kings is low key kind of nice. Kind of nice, bro. Good They're coaching. Nice, yeah. Black man. Yeah. That's all they needed. <laughs> That's, a lie. That's all they needed. Uh, the former former uh, Cavs uh, coach. Mike yeah, Brown. Mike Brown. He's with uh, LeBron and them. Yeah. So um, is that everybody? Uh, six man of the year. Six man of the year. I, I mean, even, I even know who we. I feel man. like the world was pushing Russell Westbrook. Yeah, it's my dogs, but uh, he's not doing that bad. He's not. His his numbers is still decent, so I think he might get it off the strength. Off the off the strength. Yeah, because it ain't really other t- too many other six men that's doing that. That's what I'm saying. I don't really know. I think the six man role kind of died. There's nobody that's coming in off the bench really sparking no more. I feel like they're all just like even. Even yeah, all, no, nobody really sparking. It's like, like one day they'll have somebody have twenty. Next day this guy will have twenty. It's like they take turns. Yeah, it's not like so, you know nobody like Lou Will who was averaging eighteen to twenty off, off of the bench. bench. Yeah, like, these niggas averages like ten, but like yeah. he's gonna have thirty. He might have thirty one day. He gonna have twenty. It's gonna be different even different, every day. Yeah, so so I, don't I don't know, but nah, that's some good picks though. I think mm. I think that's about it. We think we might might win the championship this year. I'm Based off of what we've seen so far, or right, who would so be course, in the championship? Of course, I'm going with the boys, the C's. I gotta go with the C's to yeah. win the championship. But if they do not win it, I would love to see my boy Zion win it. Yeah, I love Zion, um, because I feel like Zion is not better than John Morant, but I just think John Morant gets too much media. too much love. Yeah, and Zion doesn't get enough love. The Grizzlies nice though. The Grizzlies is real nice. This is real nice, but like them all, like they all just think, like solid. Right, but look, right. So I think the Grizzlies are a great team, even without John, uh, John Morant. Yeah, right. They're still a great team. They're all like solid I, B guys. I think the Pelicans are a good team without without uh, Zion, but they're a great team with Zion. Yeah. Okay, I get you, man. Mm-hmm. So you don't think John Morant makes the and doesn't make them the Memphis Grizzlies as much better than what they really are. Not that much. Not the way that people that portrayed to be. Yeah, yeah. Not I get you, mean. I get you, mean. But yeah, I, for no, if if the Celtics don't win it, I'm going with. Cause I, you know it's crazy. I called. I called the whole playoff bracket yesterday. I mean last year. So if the Celtics don't win it, which I, I feel like they are, um, I'm going with. It's not gonna be the Suns. It's not gonna be the Nuggets. Anybody come out the West It's going to be The Pelicans come out the West I can see that That's not too bad That's not only, too bad. only because Bron is playing ass Yeah Not Bron's playing ass His The team, Lakers The yeah, Lakers, Lakers is ass. being ass Yeah The Lakers were even Fifth seed LeBron's going back to the front I think so he just, they just get, You just got to get That nigga a chance bro He's going to find a way mm. He's going to find a way bro You think they're going to make trades Before the I think they got to You got to find a way To get somebody bro mm. Get Buddy Hill Get Miles Turner They even got a, uh, What's the name and oh, what the fuck is his name? The guard, the two guard. Kendrick Dunn? No, I can't know. He fucking tough. Tough. Uh, he's played for the Spurs. Oh, Lonnie Walker. Lonnie Walker. Lonnie Walker's hooping. Yeah, he I, I looked at Lonnie. That's what I'm saying. Me, when me and people have basketball conversation, I feel like it just be so different because we're not looking at the same thing. Yeah. Like, I be looking at how this nigga is getting to a bucket. Like, he's stopping on a dime. And can finish with both hands. Like he can go full speed, yeah, and completely stop, mm-hmm. and choose which hands to score with. Like if he get if he like grows the proper way, eighteen nineteen a game. I think he averaged maybe like what fifteen sixteen. Yeah, 18, 18, 19 a game. Maybe no, nah, I ain't gonna lie. Maybe pushing twenty. Pushing twenty. Because so I'm like I'm looking bro. at him. I'm like whoa, like it looked good. Like the way he's scoring to get into the basket. He looks amazing. And he's really you. the shooter over there. Yeah, he really he's the only one. He's <laughs> yeah, really like, the only one. So I'm like, he coming full speed. I was like, yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> I was like, this is amazing. This, this nigga got shell shocked and shit. I was like, this is real athleticism. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else? Uh, oh, oh. So let me let me talk about this one topic I was gonna talk about because um I was seeing this the other day. 
They was talking about so the Pentagon released some footage of actual UFOs, mm. and so basically it was it was a unidentified craft that was flying. Was, they released three videos, and it shows like a a UFO flying in ways that we never seen before. So it's going like all oh, this left right and shit. And I, I, got, I thought about it. It was like they're not really telling us aliens exist, but they're telling us that UFOs exist, mm. and UFOs could mean like. Anybody can fly that shit for real. Because I remember they were saying, like, a lot of when people see UFO sightings, they happen around, like, military, secret military bases. Mm. And they, I was thinking, like, maybe what if, like, these niggas is just test flying some new shit they, they came up with. That's As you're explaining this to me, that's what I'm thinking. Because a lot of, like, a lot of things, like, I remember I was listening to Joe Rogan. He was talking about when we first started seeing aliens and stuff like that, it was when they dropped the, the nuke. Mm-hmm. That's when we first started, and they were saying like, "Oh, that's there." That's when they started like seeing like, "Oh, we can really potentially destroy the Earth." Mm. But then they started popping up just to, like see us. But now I'm thinking like, what if that was just like an excuse to like, you know what? We have these inventions. If we can make a bomb that could destroy the world, we could also make something that could fly around mm-hmm. in this nature and like be undercover and seem like something out of this world. Well, I believe that. Like, because it's really nuts to see, think that we have, especially now we have. Um, self-driving cars. Mm-hmm. I feel like I, f- I also feel like the imagination and the creativity <laughs> comes from movies. Mm-hmm. So it, it has people thinking that certain things are real mm-hmm. because of movies. Yeah, and because of TV and shit like that. I be yo, I be saying like movies is not. It's not I mean, they might not be based on it, but it'd be like they're portraying it, mm-hmm. telling us what's going on because they definitely have something. Like they definitely they, they they came up with something like a new stealth bomber that you really can't hear in the in the sky like it's silent. That's crazy. Just imagine that in war, bro. Mm. Op, nigga, we win everything. Everything, word. But then I I started looking up like uh alien abduction stories, mm. and so, do you believe half of the people? Do you believe some of the people that that say they got abducted by aliens? Uh, it's, and only the only reason I don't is because the kind of people that usually. It don't be, be creditable people. I I know what you that's, mean. That's the only reason why I'm not jacking. I know it. what you mean. Because like, there's a lot of people that would just do it for the publicity mm-hmm. and what comes with it. But there's actually, but it's not. I, that's why it sucks for people that actually might have experienced, experienced it. it yeah. And like they're trying to tell them a story, but they're just not believing you. Now you're just like, what the fuck I'm gonna do now? Mm-hmm. Like I have this evidence from my brain, but I just can't like. Like physical proof. No, even the shit where, where niggas be talking about they seen mermaids in the water and mm-hmm. shit. And it's like. There's so many people saying they seen it. And yeah. Come to find out they was lying. They were just saying that just to get media coverage. And then exactly. it's like, what if somebody who really did actually see, see something? Mm-hmm. You know I mean? Like a lot of people talk about seeing shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, I seen, I, I heard some shit. They said the reason it was this is some wild shit. They said the reason why dolphins are so like, like um, playful with us. Like you know, you, like I, I was watching a video Jay showed me. It was like a late a girl. She was on a jet ski and dolphins were swimming like with her. Mm-hmm. On the jet ski, wild dolphins jumping around here, you know, coming up by the jet ski. They say the reason why dolphins are so nice towards us is because, like, there's a place where they go where mermaids are from. So they're so used to seeing human-like things. Mm-hmm. And that's why when they see us, they're like, okay, we can trust these trust people. people. Wow, that's tough. Some shit like that. I was like, whoa, that's kind of crazy, but it's not too far off. Mm-hmm. And then with the aliens, too, I was watching, I was, there was a story about, I think it was... A, a couple named Betty and Barney They just went on their honeymoon So they're driving back to the cabin They went to the woods And they seen a, a saucer came Right in front of the road Picked them up And they said the So this was the what the wife said Because the husband was unconscious But she said she was partially conscious She said they was like Doing tests on him Like they was taking like his sperm Taking her egg Like pieces of it And as they was leaving I guess she like talked to him Or some shit like that And she, they had a map of like a a star belt that nobody's ever seen them before. Mm. And she asked, like, oh, can I see that? And, like, can I have it? She was like, the guy's like, no, nah, you can't take this. So when they came back down, she was telling everybody the story, and she wrote, like, she drew out the image, mm. and they sent it to astronomers, and they found, like, a belt that they'd never seen before. And mm. they don't know. And she's not an astronomy lady, nothing like that. She just was just writing about what she saw, and they saw it, and they was like, this is the first time anybody's ever seen this on Earth. Mm. And they don't know how she's seen it. But people keep saying like it's not real because there's no hard proof. But there's they said there was like some substance on her dress, maybe from like the liquids they was using. Mm-hmm. And it's like there was and there was another dude that was on Joe Rogan podcast. He was from Arizona and he was like a logger. So him and his boys were going back home after a long day and they seen uh, a UFO hovering again. Same thing. 
picked and then so I guess they got out the car. It picked up one of the guys, and he said that he seen a big bright light, and he he was knocked out, passed out, and he woke up, and he seen like three figures like in his face, like with probes and stuff like that. And he said he felt like hurt, like he felt like there was something in his body, like they was like dissecting him type shit. And then all he remembers, like he closed his eyes, and then he was just like in the woods randomly. And it's like, how do you like well, like imagine that happened to you? How would you like portray that shit? Mm. And like to make it like somebody believes what you like what really happened to you. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I'll just be like, I swear to God. Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm like, but I swear to God, like, I like, I feel like I don't know. I just feel like that's enough. Like, I'm putting that shit on God. Like that shit really. Like, I, I feel like I feel like that's God where a lot of, you. like, I feel like that's where a lot of niggas, like, they be homeless niggas. Mm. Like, imagine them homeless niggas got picked up. You look at them. Well, that's right what now. they know. It could be the government just picking up homeless niggas and dissecting like, them. This nigga don't got no sense. Let me just use this version as an experiment. As that experiment, I think yeah. they do that a lot too. I'm not gonna lie. They definitely like when like human test subjects. They definitely mm-hmm. pick up the homeless people. For no reason. That's why. That's why maybe some of them kind of crazy. Where did where they be going during the winter? I be <laughs> I be thinking about Ooh. that. There's not a lot of room in the shelters. Hey, well, all, all these niggas that we seen in the summertime, what the hell they be in the winter? That's what I'm saying. A lot of them be in wheelchairs too. Mm-hmm. You can't. It's easy pickings, bro. Like, unless they have cops going out, in which I've never seen going out finding them and getting them and bringing them in, so they just send them back out during the summer. I don't know. Come it's on, it's weird, bro. Let's talk about it. It's weird, bro. And there's even yo, they made a whole. Re- you know, there's a bunch of religions based off of like aliens, bro. May there's not religion. They're cults. Cults, yeah. Alien cults. So there's one called. It's like um, what's this shit called? It's called I think Rawlism, Rawlism, some Rawlism, right? So it's about so it's about a guy. His name was a Frenchman from the 1970s. His name was Claude, and he supposedly got abducted by an alien and got taken to another planet. Mm. And the alien told him, like, yo, like, this is how you guys started. You guys started 25,000 years ago from the DNA of other aliens, and that's how, like, the world started. And they said in the year 2025, that's when they're going to appear. And he made a whole religion based out of that, and people Mm. actually, like, believe him. Because, like, he said he's seen, like, a bunch of philosophers that's, like, in some ancient, like... Um, in certain like I think like Buddhism and shit like that, mm-hmm. and it was like he had I think he has like a I don't know how the following is, but like the fall fo- I guess it's like a small following, but it's like shit like that, bro. If I right, if it's 2025 and I see an alien, mm-hmm. niggas gonna run to him like like Jesus, bro. I don't think so. Then I think a certain demographic is yeah, a certain like demographic. Me, I ain't running towards nothing. Nah, I ain't. Not, a, I, don't, I don't know what you're capable of. Yeah, that's crazy. And that's what I'm saying. I'm so tactical. Because <laughs> I'm the first thing that nigga, I ain't touching you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to see what's going on. What's your next move? Yeah, I get you. I get I you. I want to know how to defend myself and my people. Mm-hmm. Like it's that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> bro. Like it's it's really weird, bro. But all right, I got another question for you, right? So Elon walk. Oh, I said Elon uh, walks. Elon Musk walks up to you, willing to give you his whole bank account, but the circumstances is, you have to. He's gonna cut off five of your toes at that moment. His whole bank account. I can't even hoop no more. You can put. You can get fake toes. You just gotta deal with that pain though. Like he got a machete oh, ready. He said, like, "I'm gonna cut phantom, your toe right now." Phantom pain too. Yeah, bro. Uh, oh my god, that's a thing, right? I forgot yeah, about that. Um. I ain't gonna lie, cause he take the toes. Take the toes, right? For his, for the bread. That's a lot of bread. It's his nigga. You could give me new toes. But like, think about that. Think about that pain, bro. That's one chop. One. Fuck it. Two chop. (laughs) Oh, he ain't just. Nah, he going one, two, three, four. Fuck it. Fuck it, right? I think you got to, bro. Fuck it. I think you got to. I would be doing my family. A dishonor by not doing by it. By not doing it, right? Yes. <laughs> I'll be doing oh, that dishonor, shit bro. gonna hurt, bro. Fuck that it, bro. That shit gonna hurt. Oh, my God. My toes. Fuck it. I'll, what foot? Left. Left foot, right? I was thinking left, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking left foot, too. I die. Damn, bro. Hopefully, they can. I can use that money to find... But, like, damn, it's gonna take a minute for them to come up with some they bionic toes. They probably already got it. But because we don't got the money... We ain't never gonna see it. That's but true. They probably already got something that's. So. I got the money now though. Cause, oh, bro, but <laughs> I, and, that, and that's what I'm saying. So I even seen uh like the prosthetic leg. Like I seen not prosthetic leg. Uh, hand? hand. Yeah. Where it's like based off whatever is going through in here. 
Oh, they made it? It knows when you want to close or open your oh, hand. Oh, really? I didn't even know they made That's shit like thing. that. Yeah. It knows when you want to close or open your hand based off of whatever's going like, on. Like the hand. nerves and stuff? So yeah. it connects to your nerves? Oh, that's crazy. That's tough. So I'm like, if they could do that with the hand, they, they could, could do that, that with my toes. toes. Yeah, that's yeah. clean. That's clean. I do that. I Dang. probably just can't hoop crazy, but... At least I, I don't need to hoop no more. Yeah, I'm going to buy me a team. They're going to hoop for... Bro. I'm about the whole league, bro. I just probably about to... Yeah, I still run. I'll be all right. <laughs> this nigga on Yo oh, bro. I still run The day bro, UJ yeah. finds a girlfriend He gonna be on the pod First thing bro <laughs> Oh man bro Alright I got it's gonna, be, I, it's gonna be a special edition episode It's gonna be special Hopefully it's on Valentine's Day This guy is weird <laughs> <laughs> Alright I got one more thing We can talk about bro So the last thing I wanna talk about Is I was I was watch, I was um You know me My due diligence you know the scariest cave in the world is in Nevada. What you mean? So basically, there's a cave in Nevada that has like a really dark history behind it, as in the Native American. So so suppo- supposedly, I think maybe a couple thousand years ago, or a couple no, a couple in the 1800s, the Native Americans wrote that they had a battle between a group of beings that were tall. With red hair and they were cannibals for three years straight. They had a straight battle and they they were able to trap them in the cave and like set it on fire and kill them all, mm-hmm. right? So everybody think this is like folklore, like Native American folklore. There's just stories. But then in 1912, a group of miners went to the cave to like you know like look for things and they found like a lot of ancient um, Native American artifacts in there, like paintings and hieroglyphics, and they also found bones of giant like humans, like mm-hmm. giants in there. And they was like, wait, maybe these things aren't, these things is actually true. And I remember I was talking to Jason like a couple months ago, like last year, about this, about a story of a bunch of um, uh, Navy SEALs that was in Af- Afghanistan that came across a giant in the mountains of Afghanistan with red hair. Mm. And they, they said that it killed one of the guys, but it said, they said that um, when they was about to tell the people, they took, the government told them like not to say nothing about it. Like, there's a whole story about it, but there's, like, only the select few know about it, but they started talking about it, but they think it's just, like, a like a made-up story. But, like, these guys is, like, like the the best of the best military we got. Like they, they don't got no reason to lie mm. type shit. And they they was they was going there for, like, a whole, like, rescue mission. And they said he came out the, the cave, I think it was, like, probably, like, 12, 15 feet tall with red hair, just like how the Native Americans described it. So people think that maybe back in the days there was, like, giants that was running around, uh, walking around the earth. I think giants are real. I think so too. I think giants are biblical. Yeah, they was talking. They talk about yeah. the giants in the in the Bible. I heard yeah, right. Giants are biblical. Giants are definitely real. So, like they said, I remember. Don't they say like giants was like descendants of angels or something mm-hmm. like that? And then they had kids with like like the humans and things like that. Yeah. Damn, bro. So fallen, fallen, fallen angels. Angels, they say. Yeah. Mm. So, hey, bro. The giant, like, if that's real, and they say now, like the cave is pretty haunted. Like it's Ooh. called, like uh, I was talking about skinwalkers before. They say like a lot of like the Native Americans like folklore like with skinwalkers they roam around that cave, but they can't go in the cave because there's like a spell about it. Ooh. But they just stay around, they hover around, and they just wait for people to, like either they they explore the cave, they wait, they like stalk you until you come out and kill you. Type wait, of shit. Wait, 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 wait. Repeat that one more time. If I think they're, I don't know if they're like guardians of the cave mm-hmm. or something like that. But I remember I was what there was a. I don't know. There, there was like a little paranormal thing I seen on TikTok where they went into the cave and they said something was stalking them, and I don't know what happened, but I think they said like one of the because like a skinwalker or something is like a a part of Native American folklore where mm. it's like a basically like a a demon that mm. disguises itself as a human, mm. as but it's not exactly human. Like it has flaws to itself. Like you could like it just looks humanoid, mm. but it and it like um like it eats people. So it was like a like they're a type of boogeyman monster thing, and people think it's fake. But a lot of people say they've seen things like in like the West Coast and like in the forest and like the Rocky Mountains. There's like actual they might be beings that might be real. Mm. So they was talking about they was they was going in there. And they was like um you know doing the EMT like the ghost things. They got something. There might be ghosts in there, but they said outside there's something like stalking them. They didn't know what it was. Mm. So I don't know, but there's a lot of weird shit, bro. That's very tough. Like when I was a kid, bro. Like, you know what my, my main profession I wanted to be when I was a kid? Oh. <laughs> Wait. Who you wanted to be? I wanted to be a, a cryptozoologist. You on that weird shit. Yeah, bro. I don't know. I was a weirdo. 
I was I've never heard that. I used because I used to watch hella. It was like so basically, it's like a zoo. It's like a person that studies all the the cryptid things, like things mm-hmm. in like like monsters that was in like the like in the books and the stories. How like did folklore. you even become that? I don't know. There was people. For that or? I don't know. I don't know if they just made that shit up and gave niggas credentials. Credentials, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> like yeah. I, I seen that. I was is like, there, is that a class? I was like, like ten. I was take... like, yo, this sound cool. I'm being monster hunter. Hmm. I was one of those, bro. Monster hunter is crazy. I don't. That's see <laughs> me, bro. And that's what I'm saying. I'm tech. I'm not looking for them. But you said zombies. I'm not looking for the. Oh, zombies. you're not zombie. But if they happen. So if the I'm monsters fighting. came out, you gonna fight? I'm fighting. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm fighting. Real nigga, real nigga. I, I'm not looking for them. You're not, all right. Hey, niggas, niggas talking about a cave. Where they at? I'm not going to the cave. Come on, bro. We gotta explore the but forest if one day, day, bro. Come outside the cave. You gotta be you ready? I'm ready. They come outside of the cave and my peoples are in danger. I'm prepared. Bro. Damn, so you're not gonna go camping with us, bro? The hell I need to go camping for? That's lit. We're gonna go in the wilderness. My nigga, I, hey. I'm, if I could bring the pole, all right, that's I'm fine. There, bro. Hey, and say a bear come out, bro. We got you, bro. At least somebody attack. Jason gonna be go. doing flips in the corner and shit, evading bro, niggas. I'm, bro, I'm ready to go. I'm not like I'm not hesitating. <laughs> hey, bro. Oh my god, a bear, nigga. Oh my god, a bear. <laughs> oh my god, a bear. <laughs> that's hard. I ain't Clicking. gonna lie. Oh my god, a bear. <laughs> that's hard. Clicking. I ain't gonna lie. What that nigga Sue Surf say? He said, "If you see the bear, I think that nigga a bitch." <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> no, me versus a bear. I think that oh, yeah, bear a, a bitch. Yeah, he said me versus Bye. the bear. I think that bear a bitch. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's I hard. That. that was hard, I bro. That. Damn, bro. It's a bear. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was hard. That was hard. That was hard. But you got anything else you want to talk about, brother? Nah, I'm cooling. Yeah, thank you again, bro. Last pod of the 2022. Pod, sir. You know sir, what I'm saying? Sir, New sir, Year's, sir, man. Sir. Don't worry, bro. Next year, we're going to come out with some new things. A lot of new stuff to talk about. A lot of things. A lot of fun. You know what I'm saying? It's never going to stop. Next year, bigger and better. Don't it worry. Don't stop, Next bro. episode it of the new year, I'm going to tell you all the goals, bro. I got... Maybe... Should I talk about the goals this year that I have? Or should I wait till next one? Don't even wait. You ain't even got to tell them about it. We just going to do it. Just going to do it. Real shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Tell them just do it. And they're going to experience the goals. That's what I'm saying. They're going to see it. They're going to talk about it. I was like, damn, I remember when you guys was this. And I remember when this and that, and we like, I remember too, nigga. And we up now. <laughs> shout out to y'all that been there for the beginning. You know what I'm saying? You want to shout out anybody? You man, know, you got shout out my son, man, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout out my son, Jaiwer. Shout out all my guys out there. You know what I'm saying? Shout, shout out to my, everybody. Shout bro. out my son Zay. You know what I'm saying? I, I know all my guys, man. I love all the all the kids out there. All the all the guys out there, everybody, all the gals, especially shout out all the girls too. For me, this nigga sick, bro. Too. Shout out to all y'all that have been tuning in from yeah, the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Buds, you heard? Shout out to Fliggities. You know how that go, man. Shout out to Fleas. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Man. Like I said, bro. Thank y'all for tuning in for all the podcasts. Thank y'all for tuning in for this podcast and for being here from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all watch the whole podcast, what do you want them to say in the comments? Uh, slum. That's it. If all right, you heard them, bro. You heard them, bro. Follow all the socials if you want to talk to us. We got all the shits in the, the in the uh, descriptions. Follow all our socials, all that stuff. Shout out to all our sponsors. I don't got my GLD on today. Shout out GLD <laughs> Shop. Follow. You don't got it all. I don't got, got it all. Crazy. I forgot. I was folded. Shout crazy. out to Natural mm. Sheila G, all that good stuff. My dad ate all that shit, bro. Mm. That's so, tough, Natural bro. Sheila G, shout out to y'all. And yeah, we different than regular regulars, man. Gangsta. I'm